Hello everyone! Say hello to my new stuffed animal. <laughs> I liked this stuffed animal because it reminded me of the verse The wicked flee when no one pursues but the righteous are as bold as a lion. <laughs> But anyways, I just wanted to share a testimony and just a word that God gave me and spoke to me today as I've been reading Luke. So I've been in Luke 17 and I was reading verses 3 to 6 in the ESV version and it says, Pay attention to yourselves. If your brother sins, rebuke him. And if he repents, forgive him. And if he sins against you seven times in the day and turns to you seven times saying, I repent, you must forgive him. The apostle said to the Lord, increase our faith. And the Lord said, if you had faith like a grain of a mustard seed, you could say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea and it would obey you. I was just reading this passage and I thought, hmm, interesting that Jesus uses the words, be uprooted and planted in the sea. And I know that he just doesn't, he doesn't just use metaphors like without any intention. And I thought, what? things in the spirit need to be uprooted and i thought strongholds and like roots of bitterness the bible talks about those things need to be uprooted in the sea and then i thought about like the verses right before where he talks about forgiving your brother seven times jesus is is talking about like a root of bitterness um or certain strongholds that can grow when you've been hurt so many times or when somebody has wronged you so many times you know and um, maybe you've forgiven them so many times over and over i was just blessed by this passage firstly because the apostles say to jesus increase our faith when he talks about forgiving over and over he, he, they don't say like increase our our love increase our grace in our heart or our patience but they say increase our faith and i was thinking why they would say that and I realized that when we really, really have a genuine trust and faith in God, no matter what happens when we're wronged and when we're betrayed or when we're hurt so many times, we can trust that. Number one, Jesus sees. He sees everything that's going on and he sees the injustice and he sees that you're hurting and that you're being wronged. And number two, if we really had a real, have a real faith, we can trust that no matter what circumstance, like I said in one of my previous videos, we can trust that all things happen for our good, for the good of those who love him. Even when we have no idea how it could play out to our advantage, we know we can believe and hold on to the truth that for those who love him, all things, all things work out for our good. And so we don't have to take justice into our own hands. And we can really trust that, that somehow Jesus is using this to to change us, to transform us, to mold us. And I was blessed by this passage also, secondly, because Jesus is talking not just about any random miracles, like, hey, if you had faith, you could do random miracles like this and that. He's talking about if you have a stronghold in your heart, if you have something that has just grown in your heart, this root of bitterness or this root of, of insecurity or this root of shame or something that has grown because of the pain that you have experienced or the hurt that you've experienced. If you have a faith as small as a mustard seed, you can tell that stronghold, be uprooted, be planted into the sea. You can tell that stronghold, get out. I'm sick and tired of my heart being, being choked up like this. And it would obey you, he says. Just to share a little testimony, something like this happened to me really recently where I was struggling with this root of bitterness for so long and I didn't even know. I wasn't even aware, aware of it. I thought I had been fully healed, fully surrendered, everything. But in the past year, I had just been seeing this bitterness kind of start creeping up again and different circumstances would just kind of trigger it. And I would suddenly feel so bitter, suddenly feel so angry and just, I would have so many thoughts going on in my head and specific words that people would say, I would just replay it in my head and I would get so angry and I would, I would just look for these different triggers to reinforce this narrative in my head. Um, that this narrative of like this anger that I felt, the unfairness that I felt, and it led to me feeling like I wasn't loved and this narrative of being unloved it was just eating me alive and I didn't even realize this for a long time until like recently I started realizing what 
is going on with me? And now when I look back, I can see that I had just lost my genuine joy. The, the, the deep joy and the peace that I had carried for so long ever since Jesus met me, it was just getting choked up, you know? And my time was getting like wasted. I came to a point where I was just showering and realizing, wow, what has gotten, where have I gotten to? And God just gave me eyes to see myself and to see that I was just being eaten alive by this bitterness. And in the shower, I just cried out, God, I want a new heart. It's too hard for me to just keep living like this, keep swallowing the bitterness and the anger that I feel is killing me. I just want to start over. I just want a brand new heart without any bitterness, without these memories or without these thought patterns. I just want to start all over with a clean slate, with a new heart. God, that's what I want. Please, would you give me a new heart? And after I showered, I came to my room and I felt God just speaking to me, saying, I will give you a new heart and a new mouth, and I will teach you in the way that is right. And I will do all that is in my heart concerning you. And I just cried and I was just repenting for taking so long to get to this point where I was just so sick and tired of my own heart, you know, my own bitterness. And Jesus gave me a new heart. And since then, the same things that would trigger me, they don't trigger anymore. I don't go down these paths of like spending so long replaying conversations in my head and arguing and yeah, so just wanted to share that and I hope it encourages you if you feel like there's this thing in your heart that you just can't get over. Could be bitterness against somebody who wronged you, your your family, your friend, um, somebody in the past. Could be this stronghold of insecurity where no matter what people say, you just don't feel like you're beautiful or beloved. A stronghold of shame where you're always living in fear that you're going to be exposed. Fear that if people know the real you, then they would not like you or they would abandon you. Um, or just stronghold of guilt that you never feel like you're good enough for God or you're doing enough. Self-worth, whatever it may be. Just want to encourage you that if you have faith as small as a mustard seed and if you're just sick and tired of living this way, just cry out to God and ask Him for a new heart and just speak to that root in your heart and just say i uproot you i uproot you and i cast you out in jesus name be gone from me i'm sick and tired of you i'm not gonna live like this anymore today is the last day and from today onwards i'm gonna be a new person forget the past start over and this whatever root that is it will obey you because you are a son and a daughter of god you have authority so may you have the faith and the courage to do that today and i just I'll just pray <sighs> dear heavenly father i just pray for everyone who may have this stronghold or this root of bitterness of insecurity low self-worth shame or guilt of anger whatever it may be lord i pray that whoever is watching this right now that you would just give them the faith and the strength to speak to that root and to tell it to be uprooted and cast out in Jesus' name. I pray, O oh Lord, that you would give them the courage to come to you, to ask for a brand new heart. Jesus, and I know you'll restore, God. And I pray, Lord, that you would show them, Lord, you see every wrong, you see every injustice, Lord, and your heart breaks for us, God. Lord, and we trust, God, that no matter the circumstance, Lord, you are using it all for our good, God. Help us to see how you want to mold us and change us to become more like you through this situation. Lord, mold our hearts, God. Restore and heal our hearts. Give us a brand new heart, Jesus. We thank you that we can come to you for everything, Lord. Thank you that you are a healer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May you be fully restored and healed. May you receive a new heart. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Until next time.